Hello, my name is Dr. Audrey Menard. I'm the principal of St. Thomas More Catholic High School in Lafayette, Louisiana. Wherever possible, I always try to put students in the lead role, and we're there to just support them and encourage them. So as far as maintaining our laptops, it just makes total sense to put that in the hands of our students. They are doing everything from ordering, fixing, diagnosing, problem solving. Um, these are great skills that they'll have wherever they go from here. Um, it, it's just it's awesome. It's it's tremendous, and I'm, every time I walk in there, I just I feel so proud of them. The help desk is a group of students uh, who also work for the school, and uh, we were hired last year, and we went through training during the summer, and so we were trained to work with the laptops for Fujitsu certified because the laptops are a Fujitsu brand. Uh, some of them are some of us are also A plus certified, and so that just means that, that basically we are certified to work with all types of computers, and uh, we fix the laptops that when people have problems coming in, stuff like that. Since this is our first year as a help desk, uh, my job is across the board and different every day. Uh, every, every day there's a new problem that comes out or a new virus or software issue, and so my job is to make sure that everyone that works for me knows how to fix that problem. Uh, luckily for me, I teach a computer architecture class, and so I have students that work for me throughout the day, and then those that are paid employees work for me in the afternoon from 2.30 to 5.30. And so with Google Forums and other things, we try to make sure that every person that works for me is on the same page and knows about the issues with the computers that are going on on campus. They didn't have this my freshman and sophomore year. Freshman and sophomore year were very uh, generic high school computer terms. You could probably say it's like, uh, it's a pretty controlled environment and you know, you're not supposed to have other electronics on campus, which is all fine. But I, I had kind of yearned for the past whenever I went to middle school and I was kind of known as, as Mr. Fix-It or Mr. Computer Guy. It was the day after school, the day after the last day of school of my sophomore year, I went and took the A-plus test and I passed. Uh, I had only known about the test for six days because they pretty much just kind of pulled me over and they're like, Spencer, we want you to take this test. Uh, by the way, it's in six days. Uh, here's some CDs to go study from, and it's all on you. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what I'm doing. But uh, I got a lucky break, and uh, I passed the test. On average, I would say the help desk fixes between 20 and 30 computers a day. Um, this number might seem kind of high, but this is our first year, and so um, some of them are really small fixes, like how to back up or you know how to use OneNote or a specific program they learned about in class. Uh, one thing that we like to do is a train the trainer method. So all of the students that work for me know how to fix specific problems, but we also like to make sure they can actually sit down with the regular student and you know help fix their problems themselves. So in the future, you know that number will die down. Um, I have I've always been a big proponent of technology in education. Um, I think that the schools today look a whole lot more like they did a hundred years ago than like the real world that, that we all live and work in today. So I'm very passionate about um, it, you know, bringing those tools into the school. But as far as my education philosophy goes, you know, it's not, my philosophy isn't laptops. My philosophy is, you know, 21st century education and using that as a tool to bring the world into the classroom. That now you walk into classrooms and it's fundamentally different. With the kids, they're able to, uh, you know, if, if a topic's at hand, they're not limited to the textbook. You know, the textbook that's biased, often boring, poorly written, and, um, and incomplete, and even out of date. Where now, if they're looking up a topic, they can go online, they can look at different sources, they can first decide if those sources are even worthy, they can look at different points of view. So it's just taken the whole discussion level of what used to be a pretty straightforward, this is what you got to know and this is what you got to spit back, up to a much higher level where they can analyze, synthesize, and evaluate. Basically, in the first three years that I was here at St. Thomas More, uh, we only had access to computers if we were in one of the few BCA classrooms which had very old and outdated uh, basic desktop computers with not very much capability. So we really didn't experience that much technology. I mean, every teacher had their own computer in their classroom with a projector and things like that that you have in almost every school. But we, the students didn't have any real experience with learning how to use technology uh, on a fundamental level and now with every student having their own laptop 
every student is going to learn exactly how the business world works, how they're going to be operating in college. They're going to learn a lot more responsibility, I think. Um, just a lot more uh, life skills also, I think, will be learned through this. If you walk into a job interview and there's someone else there and one of you's done this job before and one of you hasn't, they're of course one of, they're gonna want the guy who's done it before. And and you know, that's that makes a lot of sense. He's got more experience. And that's what S Team is giving us. It's giving us the experience to go into the real world and be able to make a difference and be able to know what you're doing. And it's a big head start and it's a big game changer for you. Um, as opposed to those who have to wait through college or wait till after college to uh, try to get one of these jobs.